there are some times when you download an Inca uh, a return template and uh, when you download it and you open it you find that macros has been blocked by Microsoft so what do you do when you write when you run into such an issue in today's session I would like to show you how you deal with that here so I'm simply going to go to this is the home page for Uganda Revenue Authority um, I can just download a new random uh, an income tax template here and attempt to open it so I can go here to file a return I click on that at the home page I'm just going to get any templates come here download online um, return forms right there and when I go to download online return forms I simply go ahead and download a return template right here for let me just get any income tax te template here just to illustrate my point income tax return for individual with employment or rental income so I'm going to definitely ignore the first row I'm going to go to the second row and click on that one to have it downloaded so it is downloading as you can see after it has downloaded right there so I've downloaded it I'm now opening it this is uh, the template that I've just downloaded so from here of course for every return template that you open it's going to prompt you to click enable editing and then enable macros so I'm going to go ahead and click enable editing right there but after enabling editing it's now the macros the next button I'm supposed to be pressing here is enable macros but now that button is not coming but instead an error message is coming that is saying that Microsoft has blocked macros from running because the source of this file is untrusted of course uh, we trust the source of this file the source is the Uganda Revenue Authority website we do not expect that the Uganda Revenue Authority as a body is out to send to, to, to give us files with malicious code so we are going to go ahead and solve this issue of course if we continue to fill this template while the macros have not been enabled you know macros is more like a code uh, there are lines of code that enhance this microsoft excel template to be able to do you know things like let's say calculating the taxes that are in line with the current law the macros are, are more like programmable codes that are supposed to do specific functions within this template so if they are not enabled it means the excel template is just bare okay it is just bare it it is not enhanced as you can see here we are already seeing some errors okay and the errors are coming in the parts where taxes are supposed to be populated so well, how do we solve this I'm going to close this again so after closing this again I'm going to go to where this folder this where I downloaded this so I'm going to go to the folder where this thing was downloaded I'm going to go to the folder where this thing was downloaded so it was here this is the thing income tax return for individual this is the thing so I'm going to click on it like right click like that so once I right click I'm going to come and scroll down here I go to show more options right there when I click show more options I'm going to slope down here to properties so when I click on properties it's going to give me this so right here we have these tabs general security custom detail and previous versions up here so I'm going to concern myself with this tab for general then I'm going to slope down to the very last bottom there is this thing called unblock okay so I'm going to unblock to, I'm going to click on it so that I enable the macros to be yeah, um, in, initiated in the template so I'm going to click and block and then afterwards I'll click apply then I'll click OK so after doing that it means that I have an, uh, uh, um, uh, when I open this thing again the macros will be enabled so let's test that and see I'm going to go ahead and open it again uh-huh so for now macros have been disabled now they're asking me to enable them so I'm going to go ahead and click enable content 
so when I enable content now as you can see it is loading the Excel template is loading the macros and now after the loading is done then I can go ahead and start populating the Excel template with the necessary information and then I'll go ahead and upload my return so that is how we solve that problem